Welcome back to our Friday financial series here on A Streaming Life. We have discussed what we spent while we were on the road for seven months, how we track our spending, and the differences in spending we saw between stationary Airstream living and traveling Airstream living. Today, we are talking about emergency funds and why they are absolutely critical lifesavers, whether you're really on the road or not. So many of you know our story. We are full-time Airstream dwellers. Um, we are also early retirees, though I am currently back at work for a couple more months and then I'll be done. Um, Steve retired back in December of 2016. And while we make a little bit of money from this YouTube channel, our blog, stuff like that, it is not enough to support us and we never planned it to be. Um, being early retirees, we have our income coming from elsewhere, our stock portfolios, things like that. But absolutely critical to this lifestyle as early retirees is our emergency fund. Our emergency fund is where we go if anything goes wrong that we did not anticipate, uh, such as your truck tire blowing out and taking out your gas tank. If you have been following us a while, you saw that one. Or you needing to put new tires on your Airstream or an emergency medical thing that happens, or an emergency family medical thing that happens that you did not plan for, and you have to travel all of a sudden to get to family members. Um, all of these things are the reason why we have an emergency fund. In addition, for us, because we don't have full-time incomes, we also have more money in our emergency fund in case the stock market goes down, in case there's a recession, um, so that we have cash that we can use to support our lifestyle for the long term. So for us, we actually have more than three years of living expenses in a savings account for our emergency fund. So this is what we have in reserve in case of a recession, in case of a world event that causes it so that our stock is no longer supporting us in case one of us gets sick, um, any number of reasons, we have plenty of cash reserves so we don't have to stress about something happening. Because when something crappy happens, when there's an emergency, the last thing you want to have to stress about is whether you can pay for it. Even if you are not an early retiree, it is still very important to have an emergency fund, especially if you RV, but really if you're in a home as well, because emergencies happen to everyone all the time. And again, like I said, money is the last thing you're gonna wanna have to worry about if something bad happens. You wanna be able to be with your family, be with your loved one, not have to worry about the money and just get yourself to safety if something happens on the road. And so, an emergency fund is really a critical resource for anyone, um, especially an RVer, in my opinion, in our opinion. So how much should you have your, in your emergency fund? I am not gonna tell you you need three years of living expenses in your emergency fund, um, unless you are an early retiree just starting out. That is actually really highly recommended when you are retiring, even if you're not an early retiree, um, because if your money is dependent upon the stock market, you have risk involved. And so that is why they, they recommend three years so that you have time for market fluctuations, etc. If you are not retired, if you have an income and therefore don't have to worry about that, how much should you have in your emergency fund? The estimates vary. We tended to like three to six months of living expenses in our emergency fund when we had full-time jobs. Um, that seemed like a good amount for us because we expected that at some point, we wouldn't have the emergency that both of us would lose our job at the exact same time. Um, our jobs aren't that crazy, so uh, that was a very low likelihood of that happening. So even if one of us lost a job or something like that, we would still have the other salary to um, have and be with so we didn't have to have our emergency fund huge we also didn't really expect ginormous payments coming out of it um, because we're both relatively young and healthy so you probably have heard for emergency funds anywhere from one month to six months of living expenses 
Um, I am more conservative and tend to lean more towards the three to six months range. What you should absolutely minimally have is enough to cover repairs or something like that uh, or an emergency expense having to do with medical. Um, so if something happens to your rig while you're on the road, if you do not have the money to cover it, you can get stuck. And that is a really not a good place to be. So absolute minimum in the emergency fund should be a s amount of money that is set aside that is not touched. Critical for an emergency fund. This is not your savings account. This is not where money comes out of to buy movie tickets or that new, that new DVD or that new pair of shoes. Emergency fund is emergency fund only, only for emergency purchases. Um, make it a separate account. It really, really does help. And that way, if something happens, you didn't slowly raid your emergency fund down to where you no longer have enough money. Um, so yeah, enough money in that account to cover an emergency so that you can get yourself back to home or wherever you need to be and, and re refill that emergency fund once things are better and the emergency is now over. That's the other key point is we like to keep on a minimum in our emergency fund. So if we do have to take money out and it drops below that minimum, we prioritize getting more money back into that fund. So we're back up at our minimum amount that we feel comfortable to cover us in case of emergency in the future. So I know that was kind of luxury. I apologize. Um, it's just a topic that we feel very strongly about and believe that part of our success is the fact that we have our emergency fund and it makes it so we don't have to worry about money in the case of emergency um, and we can just focus on what really matters and what's important. So hopefully if you already have emergency fund, I'm preaching to the choir. If you don't seriously consider it, um, great if you can get three to six months living expenses in there, but anything is better than nothing when it comes to an emergency down the road um, and having funds on hand to cover it. Stay tuned. Next week, we start our budgeting series, RV budgeting series. So we'll start talking about how to budget for certain big categories of expenses while in your RV. Next week's video will be all about camping fees and campgrounds. So stay tuned for that. Bye, guys.